Welcome to the Catbird Quilts. I'm Kathy Martin. Today's video is a quilt story of the Celestial Stripes quilt that I made for my friend for her baby. And as always, I have a lot to say about it. So it's been a hot minute since I've done a quilt story and it's because I had a lot of starts in 2023 and not a lot of finishes. So if you're with me and you haven't seen one of these in a while, it's because I haven't had one in a while because I haven't finished a lot, but I'm in the season of finishing. And so if you're like me and you are watching people's projects on Instagram or YouTube and you go, I wonder what happened to the... <laughs> Well, today, if you wonder what happened to the Celestial Stripes quilt, here we are. This quilt started, well, two things. I did a video on how many binding strips you can get from a shirt. And so what that did was that made me have so many <laughs> binding strips, which also just happens to be the size of a jelly roll um, because I used two and a half inch binding strips. So I had all of these strips and all of these blues and such and did two companion videos out of that about jelly roll friendly quilts. And this was one of them. The other is the Birch Point quilt that I recently talked about. I love, 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 love this pattern. It's Celestial Stripes by Zen Chic. And she is a fabric designer for Moda and also does a lot of quilt patterns and tons of videos. She has a wonderful tutorial on this very pattern. And what's great about this pattern is, besides the fact that it's really easy, it's super accessible, it also has all these options for how to make it different sizes and it's very modern. So if you have someone in your life and you want to make a baby quilt for them and you are very traditional but they are very modern, this is a great one because it looks great, it's accessible and it's easy and all those good things. So same time that I was doing this quilt um, and exploring using jelly rolls, which I still have never bought a jelly roll, my friend and former pharmacy manager, Jen, got pregnant with her second baby, uh, this time a boy. And of course, because I adore her, like deep in my soul, I wanted to make a baby quilt for her baby boy that was on the way that is now here. And He's going to be a year, but no, <laughs> he's not going to be a year. But her first baby, I did a gray and white quilt, just all grays, squares with little white center squares. And then the back was kind of a mustard, honey yellow, and it was just a delight to make, and she loved it. And so I wanted to do something for her new baby boy, but I didn't want to do exactly the same thing. But then I also didn't want it to be radically different because obviously these two quilts are going to be existing in the same home. And I know my friend's taste in home decor. And so started putting it together and realized, oh, this actually might be perfect because in the quilt, it's just rectangles with these bars of color on the center. And they just come together in a really interesting and modern and cool, but not like so modern that you go, oh, what is that? <laughs> in fact, some of these fabrics in this quilt are some of the same fabrics in her daughter's quilt. And so I used the jelly roll strips that I had done from the binding video, went through, pulled out all of my grays and whites to add to it and came up with this and loved it. And it just, just was together in a heartbeat. And then I completely stalled out on it. Sometimes I just do that. I'll get to one major step and then just can't 
seem to go further. And for this quilt, the issue was what to do with the backing. So for her daughter's quilt, I did this really fun floral, like I said, mustard color. And the white and gray together with the mustard was really a nice contrast. And it was actually kind of a bright yellow, but it was on the back and it just kind of, and I did, you know, the binding with it and she ended up loving it. And so I thought, oh, well, what I'll do is I'll do an equally interesting and bright uh, backing and ba and do the binding with it and kind of had this idea that I would do like a vermilion, which I love that color and saying that word, I don't know. It's just a thing. Uh, so I was like orange or vermilion or red or like a tomato. And I wanted to do bought fabric just because most of these are shirts. Um, actually, I think, I think all of them actually are shirts on the front. So I just kind of felt like it needed you know, something bright. The nursery is dinosaurs and the front was very subdued. So it's, it's kind of, um, almost Eeyore-ish, you know, it's very gray and blue, like storm clouds. So I want to do something bright and happy. I don't know how many fabrics I looked at in the time period that I was trying to come up with the backing, my local quilt store that I loved that had a lot of new, a lot of new fabrics from all designers, but a lot of Moda fabric, a lot of Ruby Star Society, a lot of fun, interesting, you know, maybe m more modern looking fabrics, they closed. So the brick and mortar closed and they had not opened their online at that point. And so I looked at my other fabric store locally, but they just have more traditional type patterns. I mean, I looked at big box stores, the colorist, my youngest daughter, who I call the colorist, she and I looked and looked and looked, and we just couldn't find anything. And so I started looking online. And if you are an online fabric shopper, can I just stop and say, what in the world? I mean, it's amazing. It's like every fabric at your fingertips, but judging color is hard. You know, they give you the little inches at the bottom so that you have a sense of proportion, but the picture is this big and it's just really hard to know how is that going to look on mass for a backing. And so I looked and looked and kind of narrowed it down. And then our youngest came back home from college and she, we had narrowed it down. Then we narrowed it down further. Anyway, long story short, I finally just like, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to buy this fabric. And I picked um, Spotted, ironically, designed by Zen Chic. And if you have not seen the Spotted lines of fabric, this is not meant to be a shameless plug, but it kind of is a shameless plug. It is one of those really, really great blender fabrics, um, a lot like Speckled from Ruby Star Society. It's, you know, in every color, it's got a mod. Actually, let me stop and show you. So it has this... It's got multi colors in it, but it doesn't read like it's a lot. Gosh, I just really wanted the orange today, didn't I? My goodness. If you need to go stop and put sunglasses on, <laughs> you'll put your eye out. You'll put your eye out. So I bought the, I bought it and thought this is going to be great because I knew with it being kind of muted that it needed a shot in the arm and a shot in the arm, it did get. And so when it came, I was actually not anticipating it being as vibrant as it really is. And in fact, when I opened the package, I was like, oh gosh, and decided to go with it. And I actually met Jen for lunch and I was like, okay, so I'm going to surprise you with the baby quilt, but I just want to warn you the back is going to be very bright. And she's like, it's fine. I'm like, no light, traffic cone. And she's like, 
oh, that'd be great. And was totally great about it. She, <laughs> she hasn't seen it yet. She may be like, wow, Kathy. So I laid the whole thing out. I had enough fabric to cover the whole back and miscut my fabric at by a lot. And when I did so, I did it in such a way that I, I mean, I guess I could have pieced it back together, but instead decided maybe this is a good time to break up the vast spotted bright orangey red. And so I did. So I put this swipe of gray, which actually now that I have it together, it actually really does seem boyish to me. Now, it's not dinosaur, I don't think. Kind of like Tonka trucks and equipment, (laughs) cars and trucks and traffic cones. And anyway, so I I put this, um, broke it up with the gray, really liked it, and then was pretty, pretty confident about it and sent it to the long armor. And we chose a, it's almost pebble like, it actually is kind of like a cross between a giraffe print and a pebble. Have you ever seen those pictures like when in commercials or whatever, and when they want to show something like you're so thirsty or it's dry and hot and they show not a desert with sand, but like the cracked earth, <laughs> like it's the moisture has dried up and it has separated and created these like pieces. That's kind of actually what it reminds me of, which I think can still go dinosaur. I don't know. Maybe I'm stretching, but it's just a, you know, it's not really circles. It's not square. They're just kind of like squarish circles. And when I sent the quilt to the long armor, I was like, all right, so it's be warned. It's very bright. And she got it and texted me. We kind of texted back and forth and she was like, it works. I I think it works. I was like, okay, good. I'm glad you think it works because I think it works, but it's, it's pretty bright. So I got it back, loved the quilting, feel like it's, you know, just a nice, Mix And I will say, before I move on, when I unfolded this quilt, it is so soft. I forget how when you use shirts for the quilt top, just how soft it makes it. And then I think we went with a, a 80-20 for the batting. And then, again, shameless plug, the actual fabric quality of the spotted, it's very soft. It washed up beautifully. And so it's one of those, like, I wish I kind of had this except about three times bigger. Just this one of those that it just feels so good. I loved it when I got, when I got it back from uh, Laura. And then I went to do the binding and I feel like the binding just capped it off. So I was liking it and then I put the binding on it and now I love it. It does exactly what I wanted it to do, which was have that peak of color, just something interesting and contrasty on the front. And it obviously does tie into the back, but it gives it that it just needed something. It was just a little, it was pretty and it was moody and stormy, but it was just kind of, it needed something. And so now it has something. And we went with a very light gray, almost silver quilting thread, which, you know, kind of in its own way, actually neutralized a little bit. Um, so when it, when you're up close, it's still very bright. But it has that gray thread, gray quilting, um, and she did a great job with it. So it's it's modern... And it's fun, but it's also kind of subtle and kind of, I've just said kind of like six times. It goes with his sister's quilt, but not exactly. So it's one of those things. That's such a hard thing when you have more than one child and you're doing something for one that you've done with the other. It's like you don't want to duplicate it, but then you don't want to do something so radically different that there's too much contrast there. So in the end, it is this, I think it's actually pretty boyish um, quilt. And I 
am eager to get it to her. I think she's going to really enjoy it. It's one of those that I told her with the other quilt, and she did, in fact, do this, which gives me life. Use it. Use it to death. Like, wash it, dry it, use it. If it falls apart, I'll make her another one. And so when we had lunch that day and I kind of prepared her for the brightness that is on the back of this quilt, I asked if she used um, her daughter, if they used the quilt. And she said, we keep it in the car at all times because we use it at the park. We use it, you know, in the car. If she gets cold, there's the thing. And she actually said she had her daughter's one year, um, what can't photos made that word just went away. So she had a photography sheet for her one year birthday and they got out to where they're going to take the pictures and there had been, um, dew on the ground or it had rained or something and the ground was wet everywhere and she was dressed beautifully and then now they're out in this grassy area and it's soaking wet and the photographer said do you have anything we can put down on the ground baby quilt in the car for just such a time as this these are the stories that make me remind me, not make me, remind me why I love quilting and why I love quilting for people that I love and why it's so important to make the things that we want to, that we know suit the person that they're going to. And I didn't have to like, oh, you put it in the wet grass. I was thrilled to the gills. And I hope that they will use this to death, that this will be tummy time and in the park and dirty and scuffed and washed and until it falls apart. And then I'll make her another one. So that's the quilt story for, for today. Thanks for being along with me. I hope that... If you had followed this journey and wondered what happened to it, I hope <laughs> this satisfies your curiosity. I'm Kathy Martin. This is the Catbird Quilts. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.